All right, this is a tutorial on how to bring content from the PLTW, the new courses, into the free Canvas LMS. If you Google Canvas, free Canvas, you'll find, you'll come to this page, and if you click on build it, you type in your information and submit it. They will send you a confirmation email, and then what you'll end up with is something that looks like this. This is your starting course here and they give you some tutorials I'm not going to go through their tutorials but you might want to look through some of it it might help you with some of this stuff I just going to go through the basics with the courses so start a new course I'm going to call it POE because that's the course I'm going to be working with create course and I get this all right so um, what I'm going to do is create a new module and I'm going to call this just POE main page. The only way to bring stuff in from courses up that I know of is by bringing in, making assignments. So if I click, once I've got my module, then I click on the plus sign and I can make a new assignment. And this is uh, courses main page and add that item all right then when I click on it I can then edit it I'm going quickly but it's a video you can pause it and so now back here on my original here's the POE principles of engineering main page I can right click on that copy link address go back here I can say uh, Courses main page, highlight it, click on my link to URL, and paste in that address, insert link. And I'm just going to, I'm going to ignore all this because I'm going to do this for something later. Save and publish. And so now that's a link that if I click on it, it takes me directly to the main page. So I go back to home. So that just gives them a way to get to the main main deal. So now I'm going to make a new module. And basically, uh, under POE, our first unit is energy and power. And under that is the uh, mechanisms 1.1. So I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to say 1.1 mechanisms. And I'll put any assignment that I'm going to have under there. So I click Add Module. And now I'm going to make a new assignment under that. New assignment. If I go back over here, this first assignment under that is Professional Interview. If I click on that, it goes to the actual document that has questions you would ask, all of that. That's It's the first assignment in, in POE. So I right click on that and copy link address. I go back here. I make a new assignment. I call it professional interview and so I've got that there and now I need to click on that and edit it and now what I can do is in here I'm guessing the students will learn pretty quickly that when they first go in they're going to see a link that's a link to the actual work Okay, but then underneath that you can type in whatever you want. So you can type any information, any rules, any constraints, whatever you want in here. Come down here, give it however many points you want. Um, you can make it as points. I often do just complete and incomplete because I have to record my grades in a, another program. So submission is going to be online. File upload. 
and then I give it a, a due date. Let's say it's going to be due next week. And I'm making it available from today uh, to the end of next week. And save and publish. And so now if I go back home, you can see that um, this is up here. I can actually, I want this above it so I can drag that up there so now under that I have my professional interview if I click on that I get this if I click on that it takes me to the exact document that I need which is that way they know exactly what they're doing all right if I go home let me do one more of these so that you can see what it kind of looks like as it comes in so um, I'm going to do another new assignment and that is Simple Machines Investigation, that's the one where they use the VEX equipment and do all that stuff. So again, click on it, edit, type in here, Simple Machines, okay, I got to go back here now, and 1.1.1, .1 and every time it brings it back to this whole thing so they can go where they need to go, but this is just the actual... Uh, work they got to do. Now, these boxes, you can put stuff in here, 132 pounds, but there is no way to save this at this point in time. It is just for their own records. This doesn't do anything, so what you would have to do, what I would tell them to do is they do all this work, but they record all the information in their engineering notebook, then they scan that and upload it to Canvas. So I right-click on this, copy link address, and put that here, 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 and here. And then So I'm just doing abbreviated stuff, but you can go in as much detail as you want here. You know, make sure you include units, uh, however you want to do it. So you can do that over here. And again, I can say it's worth a ton of points. Assignment. Uh, we can leave it as points this time. Uh, it'll be online. File upload. And again, if I say... Wait, wait, do Tuesday from today until Thursday, done, save and publish. Oh, I meant to do this date. Okay, again, that'll take you back to that document. And if I go home, you can kind of see what things start looking like. So under mechanisms, here's two assignments. And over here, you can see it tells how much they're worth. This is what the students would see. It would look like this when it's due. And so they get a little reminder and they would just upload their whatever to it. So this, I believe, is the only way we've got so far to connect this material to Canvas. Um, you would be doing the same thing, I believe, under Google Docs, whatever, but this just is a way to get link addresses. doesn't look too bad. And again, there's a lot more information on Canvas and LMS that I'm clearly not going to go into on how to register your students here. Um, you have to send out an invite. They type it in. They get in. There's a bunch of stuff out there. And uh, actually, PLTW probably has some stuff, or you can just Google all those things. But I'm just talking about PLTW, linking courses, to the free LMS. You have 250 megabytes. Um, you have other things you can do here. You can um, you can create quizzes, um, you know, plus quizzes. You can, you know, create multiple choice uh, quizzes and stuff. There's a lot you can do with it. And, but this will at least get you started. So on my dashboard, um, there's my course. And so if the students have other ones, uh, 
that's what it looks like. Click on that landing page and there you go. So hopefully this will help somebody.